All right, our final multiplication by hand video is to answer the question, what happens if one or both of the numbers we're multiplying have a decimal point in them? So if you look to see what I've got here, I've got 23.2 times 9.14. That's how we set it up. Now, we know if we were trying to add these two numbers, we would have to make sure that the decimal points lined up if we were adding them, right? But we're not adding, we're multiplying. And when we multiply, all we have to do is make sure that the numbers line up for the first part of this algorithm, which are going to completely ignore the decimal points. So if you're really good at this, pause the video and then come back for the solution. All right. And I have a new color pen. I'm sorry. So here we go. Same exact thing we did before. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8, 9. Put in our 0. That's the part we're always going to forget. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. Put in our double 0. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. 28. 9 times 2 is 18. Plus 2 gives us 20. We add them up. 8, 4, 12. 20, 2, 10, 12, 1, 2. Now, if we're not paying attention, we're going to go, okay, the answer is 212,048. Ta-da! Except we forgot about the decimal points. So we can't be hasty with our finished product until we check for our decimal points. Now here's the trick, and it's, it works every time, and it's super simple. We simply go up here and we count the total number of digits that are behind the decimal point. The 2 is behind the decimal point, the 4 is, and the 1 is. So 1, 2, 3, 3 digits behind the decimal point, and then we count. 1, 2, 3, and there we go. The final answer is 212.048. Now I'm going to give you one to solve. And you can pause the video and come back and we will talk about it. So let's see. Now in this case, the decimal points lined up, but that was coincidence. Doesn't matter. What matters is that the numbers line up. Because remember, we're ignoring the decimal points until the very end. So go ahead and pause the video, solve it, and then come on back and see how you did. All right, here we are back in action. Let's get this out of our way. Hey, same thing. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 0. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 1 plus 1 is 7. 6 times 2 is 12. 6. 5. 13. 3. 1. And remember, we're tempted to just go, ba-ba! But then we remember, oh, the decimal points. 
we've got one, two digits behind the decimal point. So we count over one, two, and there's our answer, 133.56.